Junior Senior. G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming and today we're doing yet another mod review for American Truck Simulator. And this time we're having a look at the Kenworth W900A by Stas Dimitri and Creechbaum. Now, this one, we've seen this and was very, very popular in, uh, in Euro Truck Simulator 2 and uh, it's now been converted over. Um, just quickly having a look around at the detail, it still looks pretty damn good. And, um, there we go. Look, it's still, yeah, it's like, it's great. Looks awesome, just like it did before. So let's go over to the cabin. Now, this time, we've actually got a choice here. So you get a choice with this. Um, you actually get the difference between the day cab with that bash bar on the, on the back there or the guard, sort of bash guard, whatever it is, I don't know. And then we have this one here, which is the actual flat top sleeper, uh, which has the Palmia on the back there. Now I'm going to go with that one, reason being I love that. I just love the look of that flat top there, it's beautiful. Now uh, we head on over to the chassis, there's only one chassis to choose from. If we click over here, is there still one chassis? Yeah there is, there's only one chassis. And that's it, the 6x4, that's all you can choose. Now up to the engines and we have a choice of Detroit Diesel 250 horsepower all the way up to 500 horsepower and the Cummins ISX 12 370 with uh, 370 horsepower and we have that goes up to 625 horsepower then we have cat engines of 475 and 625 horsepower so uh, nice big choice there uh, we'll leave it on the um, oh, we'll start with the DD Start with the DD and we'll work our way down later on. Now, as for gearboxes, we have six speeds. Uh, we've got the Spicer six speed there, it was six speed with retarder. We've got 10 speed, 10 speed with retarder, 14 speed, 14 speed with retarder, and the 18 speed. I love the 18 speeds. Now, um, over here we have, uh, so this is the interior, it's just the flat top interior. That is it, and as you can see, you can sort of see around there. But it looks very, very nice, and uh, that's really good. I like it. I like it a lot. And then we head over to the paint jobs. We have custom color where you can choose any color you would like. And then we have black knight, celestial blue, dark scarlet, deep aquamarine, deep basalt, emerald green, perfect white, royal gray, and then there's skin one which is cool, you can actually change the color to whatever you want which is really nice as long as it matches that little red stripe there that's in there um, and then we have the second one, Skin 2 which is sort of like the uh, one from you know the SCS version of this of the W900 and what's that doing? Oh it's changing it a little bit but not too much Hmm. That's interesting, so you can't have it exactly what color you want, it's only a very light variation. And then that one there just changes that stripe there. Um, yeah, well, there we go. And then we have this here, which again you can go through and change whichever colors you want. Uh, down to the custom metallic now. Uh, over to red, we'll put it on. Red, red wine, and there we go and we'll have a look yes that is working so we have the third color is working that is great look at that awesome I like it on there though that's pretty cool um what ca what am I going to choose I think I'm going to choose I think I'll go back to the custom color and I'll do uh, uh, let's see a light blue maybe Let's try a light blue. See how that looks. Eh, not too bad, I guess. Not actually, that's not bad. I don't mind that. And there we go. We put a white pearl in there. Uh, not white pearl. A um, a white metallic in there. That's nice. I like that. All right. So let's go on to the actual accessories, which I love. It's my favorite favorite part. 
Now we have a standard bumper. We've got standard bumper still, sorry, standard bumper. We have Texas rolled end and we have grill and bumper guide. Uh, so it's just a bull bar. And American Eagle with grill. So there we go. Uh, I particularly, uh, I actually think, I like the Texas rolled for this one. Texas rolled in, definitely. Now for the mirrors, you get to choose those mirrors only with this. You can't choose anything else. Up here, let's see what do we have. We have the sun visor in chrome or paint. Let's put chrome on there. We have mirrors. No, it's not mirrors. It's air horns or a spotlight. Which I don't believe work. The uh, the air horns don't work. Just the the actual lights do, but the air horns don't. Mirrors. The it's just the standard chrome ones. And then on the back here is a wing, which is very nice, very nice indeed. Now, uh, what else do we have? We'll go down to the rims, and we have a nice selection of rims here. We have Alcoa, the Millennium style. We have the classic. We have the Steel Basic, the Chrome Standard, we've got Sprinter, Sprinter 2, uh, la, 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 la. there we go, we've got Accuride, OEM, and there we go. Uh, that is it, I'm going to go the Classic, I like the Classic. Chuck on some Goodyears, and then we will quickly have a look at the guard up the back here. You get the uh, Quarter Fender Chrome. You get the half fender and the full fender. Uh, I'm just going to go the quarter fender chrome. I, I really do like that. It's definitely my favourite for this truck. Now for the rear rear rims, we get. Let's have a look. So you got the steel basic. You've got the chrome standard. You've got the Alcoa Millennium Classic. The Progress Aero Sprinter Seagull Sprinter Dynamic. Uh, Accuride and Shadow. Uh, let's go to the Classic. Was it Classic? Let's have a look. Yes, it was. It was the Classic. And then we will put on some Goodyears over here. Classic and Goodyears. And there we go. That is that done nicely now that's the mirrors there that looks like that is all done yep we did that did that did that that's all done let's go on the inside and check it out all right so there we go there is chrome there uh, there's the mirrors sorry that that was the mirrors as well sorry uh, in chrome there's the mirrors again and that there is the sun visor can't choose anything else other than that what we've already chosen so let's go and confirm and we will do a trade in on the last mod and then we will take a look we'll see how long it takes to load let's see is it going to take long time no it's not it's very quick it's raining outside oh what a shame now that looks really nice I really do like how it's how this is done in the actual uh, in, in American Truck Simulator. I'm just trying to look to see if there's any bugs or problems or anything, but no, that is pretty smooth. That's very nice indeed. Look at that. Whoa, yeah, that's nice. Right, so let's jump on the outside and we'll test a few things. For starters, let's test the wipers. The wipers working on the inside? No. Uh, let's turn the truck on. Now the wipers are working. Whoa, <laughs> that's some nice sounds there. So there's the wipers. You've got one setting, two settings, and that's it. Alright, lights. Yep, there's the lights. Very nice. Uh, no air horn. What's the standard horn? <laughs> I'm repetitively pushing the button to do that noise. Sounds like a fuse or something. Um, look, this is really nice. You can see the engine inside there. It looks really good. Um, 
that is really nice. I'm very keen to go and check out the um, the actual uh, 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 sorry other engines. Oops, sort of crunched the gears there. Spin that wheel. And there we go. It's, whoa, the steering wheel takes ages to rotate around. <laughs> this is a high revving engine. Sounds like it's high revving, but uh, still, it's pretty damn good. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, let's check out the other engines. So what do we have first? We had, I'm pretty sure it was the Didi. Yes, it was, and that screams. Uh, now we check out the uh, ISX 370, so the Cummins. Let's listen to that. That's very nice. I love Creech Bump's work, I really do. Really, really do. Now, let's go off to... Now we got the cat. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, I think I'm going to have to go with the Didi on this one. That is a real screamer. And it's uh, definitely a lot of fun. And there we go there. I'll just chuck that one on while we're cruising around. Awesome. Whoa, listen to that. That is... That is... Listen to that. Wow. That's amazing. Let's pop her in third. Listen to how she screams. Right, I'm going to uh, chuck it up higher and see if it's going to pull out with this. So, uh, a window's down and it's raining. That's not cool. <laughs> There's going to be rain coming inside the truck. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's right. Close the window there. That's better. <laughs> that was funny. Um, let's see. I'm going to see if I can pull out in front of some of these guys because they're not, they don't always let you go. I want to see. I would like to see a cop car and a normal car have an accident. I really would. There we go. Now, let's rev this baby. I don't think I'm actually revving it as hard as I could. Because these DDs are such screamers, they really are. It sounds like they're revving harder than what they are. Oh, 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 no banana break. That was weird. Feels really strange when there's no banana break, it really does. Come on, mate, we'll give you a race. Come on, go green, go! <laughs> I stole it! <laughs> there we go! <laughs> He's winning! Oh no! Okay, well, this is... I'm actually liking this. This is such a screamer. It really is. That is amazing. No, I don't know where the uh, Jake or the banana break, like we call it the banana break here. Uh, don't know where that's gone. I've been hitting it and it's just not working, so yeah, that's strange. But guys, this is awesome. I really do like this truck. I'm going to fix that up the, uh... there we go. Um, I really do like this truck. It is awesome to drive. It's uh, a lot of fun. And, uh, but it's not up to me, guys. If you would like to see this in the weekly drive, then you know what to do. 
go to the description below and click on yes or no not click on but just tell me in the description below if you would like to see this truck again then say yes i would like to see this truck again if you do not want to see this truck again and if you don't want to see this truck in the weekly drive then just tell me no i don't want to see it in the weekly drive so um, make sure you get down below guys and you vote because it is very important that you uh that you vote because it's up to you who wins We've had a lot of entries this week and some not so good entries, so make sure you get in and vote, guys. Ah, oh, damn it, I stalled it again. But, guys, that is pretty much it for me. Look, if you're new to the channel, then don't forget to check out some of our other videos that we do have. We have a lot of American trucks, we have a lot of Euro trucks, uh, a lot of other trucking games. It's just trucking great, it really is. But that's pretty much it for me, guys. Look, don't forget, if you like this video, then give us a thumbs up. And uh, keep the shiny side up and the greasy side down. And I'm 1010 on the side. And remember, game on. Thanks for watching, YouTubers. If you'd like to see more videos, then click on the links beside. Just over here, we're taking a look at the brand new DLC for American Truck Simulator, the Kenworth W900 from SCS. Just down there for American Truck Simulator, we're taking a look at the Max Tiburon. If you'd like to visit our website or you'd like to subscribe, then click on the links below. Thanks again for watching, YouTubers, and remember, game on!